We're going to do a very different type of denial of service attack now, something called a slow loris. Earlier we saw denial of service attacks where we were flooding a target with excessive amounts of traffic, so much so that we actually started hurting our own hacking machine. Instead, we're going to try a very, very different approach. So I have Kali open here, and I also have Metasploitable open. Again, Metasploitable is the target, um, and it has a website. If we open Kali's Firefox here, we can go to, and we're gonna, we want to have this right here handy too. I'm going to come to it in just a moment. We're going to go to Metasploitable's website, 192.168.75.131. Press Enter. And we can see that Metasploitable has its various little websites inside. Okay, that's fine. Now, Slow Loris you have to download. And one of the places you can get it from is GitHub. And there's a command in Kali to just um, clone or download something from GitHub. So what you do is you look for, you do a search. So let me go backwards here. You just say Slow Loris because it's a Python script. Slow Loris Python script and you do a search, and one of the first things you'll see is the GitHub Slow Loris tool. So we'll click that and we'll go there. And here we are in GitHub. This is, of course, a repository for lots of different um, uh, application projects. And um, down here we can see, here's Slow Loris, right here, uh, it's in Python. Click Clone or Download, and then just copy this link right here. Just copy this to your clipboard. So we've got the link. We'll minimize this and open a terminal. So we're opening a terminal and I can see that I'm 154. That's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do now, let me just clear and let me zoom in. If you zoom, 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 or I could do control plus plus. Uh, I'm going to say git clone and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that link that we copied. And I'm just going to press enter. And it's cloning Slow Loris. And it went and it grabbed it real fast. Now we'll find it in the, uh, the context of wherever we were. So right now we're in the profile of the root user. If we type ls, we can see that Slow Loris, the directory, is right there. And we know it's a folder because it's blue. We can cd into Slow Loris. And we can ls here and we can see the Python script. So we can run the Python script as it is. Now, um, Linux does not have the same concept as the current directory uh, for running scripts and executables the way Windows does. So you say a dot forward slash, meaning in this directory, slow loris dot py for Python. Press enter, and we'll see its syntax here. So we can see, let me just expand this a bit, if this helps, maybe not. We can see that it's a low bandwidth stress test tool. Now what Slow Loris does, unlike HOIC, unlike LOIC, it opens a connection to a website and it keeps the connection open as long as possible. And it opens many connections to a website, effectively using up all of the acceptable connections for that site. Because all web servers, all servers, can be configured to accept only X number of connections. And, and that's done on purpose to make sure that they don't accept so many connections that they can't service those connections. So the idea with Slow Loris is let's just burn up all of the um, connections in, in, and we don't even really set up a, a full connection. We just burn them up and hold them, keep them in a holding pattern so that legitimate users, there's nothing left for the legitimate users. And you do it with a relatively few number of packets. We're not doing thousands, tens of thousands, a hundred thousand, half a million packets. We're just doing like a couple hundred packets or a thousand packets, whatever is required to take this website down. So what we need to do is we need to say slowloris.py tac p80 for port 80. And you can have multiple sockets running if you want, and you can specify proxies that you bounce through. And uh, but we're not going to do that. And then just the IP or the resolvable name of the host. And that's 131. That's the uh, metasploitable. 
So we're gonna just say dot forward slash slow loris dot pi um, tac p80 and then the host 192.168.75.131. That's metasploitable. Now before we launch this, we're going to start Wireshark just to take a look. So we're coming up to applications and we're gonna go to sniffing and spoofing and we're gonna go to Wireshark open this thing up. And uh, as soon as Wireshark launches, um, we'll start capturing and then we'll run the slow loris attack. So as soon as Wireshark is through, Okay, uh, if you get a Lua error here with Wireshark, Lua is um, a, a way you can write customized scripts, and that's not what we're doing. So it's just saying, hey, um, you won't have uh, privileged user status here, da, 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 da. That's okay, we don't care. We're not doing, we're not customizing anything. Click OK, and just double click Ethernet zero, and get the capture started. Okay, so I've got a capture going. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press enter and run this Python script. So it's attacking with 150 sockets. So we've got 150 uh, connections basically, and we're doing this very, very slowly. Let me open up Firefox and let me go to the DVWA here. And let me see if I can just browse around here and click some things and see if we start getting slower and slower and slower. Look at how slow this thing is in responding. I've clicked this and it's not even, it's like spinning. So we, we've effectively taken this thing down. Let me click another thing. Waiting, waiting, waiting. You see that? Waiting. <laughs> so this thing's unable to respond. All right. So let's, we can um, stop this. Let me con come back to the script. Let me control C to break it. In a moment, this thing should be able to, there. It, as soon as I broke that, it was able to respond. Okay, let's go to um, Wireshark and let's stop the capture and let's see what we have. So we can see here that, um, let me go back here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna specify the source. So let me just, in a filter, I'm gonna click in the filter here, ip.src underscore host, and it's going to be Kali. From other uh, activities, I already have it. Equals equals Kali's IP. Let me just click that. Press enter. So I'm looking from Kali to uh, Metasploitable here, and you can see that um, it's making this connection. So it has the SIN. This is part of a three-way handshake here. And in fact, let's see if we can follow one of these, see if it shows us anything. Right click follow the TCP stream, and we can see that it is, um, it had the handshake, and um, it's trying to make a request, the server's responding back, but da 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 and uh, we can see lots of requests here, but as you can see, let me just clear out the expression, you can see here that um, we had a lot of requests, but we weren't flooding with the same amount of traffic. Like, watch me scroll up. This is nowhere near the amount of traffic that was generated as uh, what we had when we did the um, ion cannons. So um, this is basically just this thing keeping this alive and keeping it alive and keeping it alive with 150 of these going on and on. And uh, we've got some um, in... Uh, when you see a black, this is like a bad uh, packet here. And then the red, we, we can see that uh, there were some reset attempts with for some other things that we don't really care about. There's some other traffic that we don't really care about. And so you can see that it is just still going on and on and on, but without the huge volumes of traffic that uh, we had before. So I'm just picking one of these TCP packets here, and I'm just going to expand it here and just scroll down and uh, it's saying look at this option no operation non-operation in other words it's not doing anything it's just like going to the next uh act or the next operation so it's just saying just keep going just keep going and um uh, that's all it is so we're doing no ops we're just saying just keep going um so we're using relatively very little traffic to basically take, a, take down a website. And that is using slow loris 
as a denial of service tool. 